tensions remain high here in Tahrir Square as organizers and activists, liberals, moderates and Islamists are calling for a million man march to take place here in Tahrir on Tuesday. They're also calling for demonstrations to shut down major highways all over the country. This comes as Prime Minister Sam Sharaf and his cabinet gave in their resignation to the military council. The military council also called for an investigation into the violence that erupted in the past three days, saying they will prosecute whoever was involved in killing the protesters as well as the protesters involved in attacking the military police. But I can take you around at this point. People here have settled down into Tahrir Square. You see vendors, you have tents being set up, and you have people getting ready for this Million Man March, but also to maintain their posts here until their demands are met. As people are settling down here in Tahrir Square, the battle for this new revolution, as they call it, is still taking place in Mohammed Mahmoud Street, which is located right next to the Ministry of Interior. This battle has been raging on for three days now, and people expect it to go into its fourth day as the Million Man March is set to take place on Tuesday. The protesters see that their power in the streets does have the ability to change the situation here in Egypt. They also reject any calls for an upcoming parliamentary election. مبارك وإن هو جاي علشان يحمي مصالحه اللي موجودة ويحمي ظهر النظام اللي هم رموزه موجودين في السن. The protesters say they will stay in the streets until their main demand is met, and that's the removal of the military council. This is Jahan Hafiz for The Real News in Cairo, Egypt. Yeah.